Have a look what I have recently purchased off AliExpress. This here is apparently a saw. No, it's a collapsible saw. So you unscrew one end like so. Come on. So you've got one screw end, a long section. This is the tensioner. You have a saw blade and the uh, fulcrum, I presume, what this part is called, the center part. Hmm. Taken me a little bit longer to assemble this, to be honest. Almost done though. And then we put the saw blade in. Except I tightened it too much, so I've got to loosen it off a bit. Still too much. Loosen it off a bit. In goes the saw blade, then we can tighten it up. Mm -hmm. And now we have a pretty, pretty good bow saw. Now this thing here cost me, I think it was like 14 Australian dollars, because it's on special or something. Usually they come with uh, the fulcrum is like in the centre here. I don't know what it's called, but I'll just call it a fulcrum. It's usually right here. But I found one that has it higher up so you can saw thicker logs. But after using, I'm not quite sure whether I'd want to saw a really, really thick log with it. But you can. I have sawed a log about this thick with it, which is uh, pretty good. It does sound a little bit on the rattly side, though, when you are sawing with it. But it does the job. Okay, here's some pretty hard wood. It's not pine, this stuff. Another thing I noticed about it was that the saw blade is on an ever so vague twist. So it will often cut things with a slight bend to it, slight curve. So don't expect you're going to go into the woods and start making a fine piece of furniture. You will most likely just be chopping firewood, clearing paths. Now, another thing I wonder about this is that they can cost up to like, I don't know, $20 or something. And they are pretty sturdy once they're assembled. And the blades are replaceable, which is another added benefit. But... For general day-to-day -day use, um, I don't think they're any superior to your average folding pull saw. You know those folding pruning saws that you can buy pretty cheap? They're like a knockoff of a silky. I would just get one of those for just around the house. Of course, if I was out in the woods and far away from a hardware shop where I can't buy a replacement pull saw but I can easily carry replacement blades, um, I would prefer this thing, to be honest. Mm. A good pull saw will last for many years though, so... Yes, I just don't know what this... what the place of this object is in the world. Of course, if you are out in the bush or out in the woods and far away from civilization, the biggest downside to this thing is not the assembly time, but the fact that while you're assembling it, it has loose parts that you can easily lose. Like these end pieces, for example, they can just roll away into the bush and you'll never see them again. Maybe I shouldn't have got a black one. I should have got one of those. I think you can get like bright silvery orange ones. That would be a lot better come to think of it. The blade came reasonably sharp, which is nice as well. It also came with a spare blade, even better. One thing that I'm actually concerned about the blades with this thing is that they sit within the metal tubes unprotected when it's fully uh, in its collapsed tubular state. So as it rattles around in there, rubbing up against the metal tubing on the inside, I'm worried that the, uh, that the tips of the saw blades will get a bit blunt. Maybe I should wrap a bit of fabric around them or something. Oh, and it weighs about 263 grams. There you go. Uh, in conclusion, it is a twist on an antiquated idea. Well, okay, well, that's my uh, review of this AliExpress collapsible bow saw. Have a nice... whatever.